Yeah, I um, I f***ed up. Now, I'm well aware that uh, making this video and talking about this and um, responding to Jacqueline's recent video um of friends i'm definitely going to lose some bands i'm going to lose some friends uh you know but there's there's two sides to every story um i wouldn't really call this a defense of friends uh i i understand what i did i understand that it's pretty uh wrong and heinous and like I said, I had friends. I'm, um, um, so I just, I guess I would like to friends. Um, um, I just, I just finished watching Jacqueline's video and, um, uh, So I was just about to start recording and then BOOM! Snow! Gosh darn it. <laughs> Where has this come from? I live in England as most of you probably know. <laughs> this is a bit of a shock to me. I mean, uh, what? Jesus, it's really going out there. Wow, okay. Anyway, back to the video. Hello everybody and welcome to another Physic Talks. So I actually can't believe how much it's snowing out there. This has absolutely come out of nowhere. Like, it, I swear it's not even that cold. But uh, I live in the south of England, but it's, it's nice to have some snow, but you just can't predict what's going to happen in England. It, it, the weather just does whatever the hell it wants. And yeah, fine, you can look at the weather on TV or whatever, but it's never, never that accurate. I mean, it's so hard to plan to do anything in this country because you never know what's going to happen. Anyway, completely irrelevant. How are you doing, guys? Thank you so much for joining me once again. If you enjoy the video today, please do leave a like and please do subscribe. We're nearly at 2,000 subs. I'm really hoping that we can get there by Christmas that would be wonderful so please do subscribe if you haven't already and uh, yeah so today you may be wondering why I'm once again talking about social repose but this is basically because my last video was demonetized not really sure why I think there are a couple of swear words I forgot to bleep out I mean I was really annoyed with that Ghazi Kodzo video and it's upsetting because I really wanted to get that out there and get people seeing that It'd be interesting to get a discussion going so because of that my views vanish they just disappear they really really do it's really upsetting because if you are a small channel that is really struggling and your videos are demonetized, you can't even appeal the decision until you have over a thousand views. So, a lot of people are just absolutely screwed. There's nothing that they can do to fix this, which is really annoying. I'm not gonna be doing the same video again, I'm going to be talking about new stuff, so you're not seeing the same stuff over and over again. I'm going to be going into a lot more depth into social repose and the this idea of him being a sociopath and uh, the way that that massively backfired. Because as I said in my previous video, he clearly romanticized about being a sociopath. He clearly fetishized that idea. Uh, and now that people are like, hold on. He is an absolute manipulator, and his channel is suffering because of it. He's he's freaking out and doesn't know what to do. This is this has been an interesting experience for me looking into social repose and the person that he is because I've always known social repose to be this empty robotic person that massively lacks empathy and being someone that's really interested in psychology people like that fascinate me a lot of you already know that Onision fascinates me completely I find him to be a very interesting person to watch not because I enjoy his content I mean when he 
first started doing comedy, some of that stuff I liked, some of the sketches I enjoyed, but after all of this, I can't look back at that stuff and enjoy it anymore because I know the absolute toxic horrible person that he is. So people like that do fascinate me. And Social Repose is a, almost a mirror image of Onision. There are so many similarities between them. Not that they would want to admit that, but there definitely are. So I am, I'm going to be really doing my best to avoid demonetization because it is absolutely doing my head in. I put so much work into videos for them to be demonetized and disappear into nothingness. Yes, those videos are still up and online, but YouTube will not promote them in any way at all. They will say you, you will have limited ads. That's absolute rubbish. The kind of adverts you get are adverts like this. Oga, 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 I beg now, oga, are they hungry? Oga, put me money now, oga, since morning. Do you see what I mean? It means nothing. It just means you have been demonetized. But that isn't even the problem with it for me. I don't care about the money side of things, but what I do care is that my video is not suggested, not promoted. I had one fan recently telling me that they didn't even realize I did gaming videos because they're never suggested. And I believe this is because they often get demonetized because I don't mind not bleeping out certain swear words because it's not about the views with the gaming videos, I just do it because I really enjoy it. But um, with that said, let us have a little look into the mind of Social Repose. So, for those of you that don't know, Social Repose is a YouTuber and a musician. You've probably seen him in his Native American headdress and gothic apparel. He was recently in a relationship with Jacqueline Glenn, who is another YouTuber. Her content doesn't interest me that much, but I think she's a very nice person, quite a genuine person, and watching what Social Repose has done to her really upset me. He really, really messed her about, and his reasons for doing so are pathetic, basically. Absolutely pathetic. His, his real concern at the moment is losing subscribers and having his channel affected. He very much only cares about his work and less about the people that he's surrounded by. Now, a lot of people are questioning whether he is a sociopath because he does have an incredible amount of sociopathic tendencies. This is a tricky thing because he also is clearly trying to force the idea upon people that he is a sociopath, that he is a, a broken person, a damaged being. He recently put out a video in response to breaking up with Jacqueline Glenn. It was a sham, an absolute joke. He lied consistently. He was very, very manipulative in his nature. Now, this is the video that I was showing you right at the start of this video where he would take so many long pauses. He would drag it out. He did the classic manipulative sigh at the start. Yeah, I am. Um... So, um... Uh... <sighs> um... Guys, but that video is so bad. So bad was it that Jacqueline Glenn had to comment on it herself saying, Richie, you've, you've lied about everything. Absolutely everything. And you know what? He deleted the comment. Because that's not suspicious. Because that doesn't make you look like a complete moron. Ridiculous. So, as soon as his channel started getting affected by this, he clearly freaked out and he created yet another video. Now, in this video, he starts the video by taking off his beanie to reveal that he's shaved his whole head. And just to, to force the manipulation on you a bit more, he starts he starts stroking his bald head. It's like, Jesus Christ, 
Could you be any more manipulative in your nature? Could you be any more trying to tug on people's heartstrings? It's really bad. Now, I'm not going to be able to show you as many clips from Social Repose's videos as I have done in previous videos, just because of fear of being demonetized. So I will put a link in the description to each of those videos. If you want to check them out, that's fine. It, it would only be for context sake. Um, it won't really add anything more to what I'm going to be saying today. Now, I thought it might be quite interesting if we take a look at the symptoms of sociopathic behaviour and see if this falls in line with Richie's behaviour. So let us have a look here at some symptoms of sociopathic behaviour. I will put a link to this article in the description if you want to have a look yourself. This is coming from health.com. Now, the first symptom here, we have lack of empathy. Perhaps one of the most well-known signs of ASP is lack of empathy, particularly an inability to feel remorse for one's actions. Now, this, this he, he even makes the point himself that he has a lot of trouble with empathy. Now, this does become confusing because of what I said previously, because he fetishizes the idea of being a sociopath, and he's made a lot of videos trying to push on to people that he is this sociopath because he likes the idea of being a villain, being evil, whatever. So it's tricky to work out what is him and uh, what is what he wants to be. But in terms of lack of empathy, yes, he has great difficulty with empathy. You, you only need to look at his these response videos to see that. He clearly has trouble connecting on an emotional level that other people can already do with ease. Now, second symptom is difficult relationships. This is absolutely self-explanatory. He has had great difficulty with relationships, great difficulty with not just sleeping with other women. And um, with Jacqueline Glenn, whilst he was away on tour, he cheated on her and it upsets me because of how much of a nice person she is. And if you look at her response video to this situation, she is in pieces, she's crying her eyes out, whereas Social Repose, he's got an absolute blank slate expression and smirks a couple of times here and there, laughs a little bit. He clearly doesn't care about her clearly and the very first thing he said was I know I'm gonna lose a lot of fans why is that the first thing on your mind shouldn't it be oh I've really screwed up and I've really uh, messed with someone's emotions I've really messed with a, a, a wonderful person's emotions and they're gonna have a great amount of difficulty being happy for the foreseeable future now let us take a look at the third symptom, and one of the most important ones for me, this is manipulativeness. Sociopaths tend to try to seduce and ingratiate themselves with the people around them for their own gain or for entertainment. But this doesn't mean they're all exceptionally charismatic. It may be true for some and it is often said of the, so of the psychopath that they are superficially charming. Yes, he definitely, as he runs this YouTube channel, he definitely puts on a, a certain persona every now and again. That's, that's evident. And in terms of being a complete manipulative person, in these response videos, he uses so many different manipulative tactics. He deflects all the time. He, um, he starts victim blaming Jacqueline Glenn quite badly. Uh, it's... <sighs> horrible to watch he keeps saying that she knew what she was getting into she knew that i was this broken person and she kind of took me on with with the thought that she could fix me and that you know there obviously there were there, there's a lot of there's a lot of good parts that she saw in me and I, I commend her for that but at the same time you know everyone did warn her and i don't know it just sucks that i i proved them all no. right Shut it. Don't be so stupid. You are in complete control over whether you screw her over or not. That is such a lame excuse. It really is. And because he got a lot of hate on that video, his latest video, as he's freaking out, his excuses are getting more and more stupid, more and more lame, and the whole victim blaming thing was horrible. He would say that everyone had told her how bad he was. Don't be so stupid. If you knew it was going to be an issue, don't get into the relationship, you idiot. So, 
Next symptom, we have deceitfulness. Sociopaths have a reputation for being dishonest and deceitful. They often feel comfortable lying to get their own way or to get themselves out of trouble. So, this again brings me to these response videos where Jacqueline Glenn completely called him out for lying about several different things within the video. He said that she was kind of clingy. He didn't exactly say that, but that's what he insinuated. He said she was uh, too in love with him. She wanted to move in with him first, but that's completely the wrong way around. It was actually social repose that first brought up moving in together. Yeah, he, he absolutely lies to get his own way or to manipulate people into thinking that the situation is different to what it is. He's also made a lot of points in this latest video that, look, I am not the victim here, uh, blah blah blah, but he titled the video, I need to get help. You are so reaching out for sympathy, it's unreal. He goes on to explain how he's going to get therapy and how he's going to speak to his doctor, even though in the video before he said he doesn't believe in antidepressants and he thinks therapy is a load of rubbish, which is a very dangerous thing to say to your impressionable fans. Uh, I think therapy is an incredibly important thing for an incredibly large amount of people. I don't particularly agree with antidepressants but I think they can be very important for people again only as a plaster though only as a temporary solution but there are some people that really can't live without them so don't be saying that they're a load of rubbish to a lot of your fans that are obviously going to listen to what you have to say and again with these two videos, it's very interesting seeing the contrast between them. I, it, it is my belief that the first video was a far more accurate representation of who he is, because the videos are basically a mirror image of each other. After the first one, he realised he screwed up, so he changed his tactics, but what has been said had already been said he had been called out for lying so i think the first video is a more accurate representation of himself and how he would actually act these videos are also absolutely not apologies to Jacqueline Glenn, they are just apologies to his fans. The only point of those videos was to make sure he didn't get as much hate as he was getting and to cover his ass, which I think is pathetic, it really is mate. So, next symptom we have callousness. Good God is this guy callous, he, he's just absolutely blank expression, no emotions, he's very cold, he's very empty, so it says here, some might be openly violent and aggressive, others will cut you down verbally, I don't believe he's that much of a violent person, but what happens behind the scenes is uh, I'm unsure of. I, I think he would definitely be the type to try to verbally manipulate people. Well, I know he's the type to do that. I can imagine he's a cruel person. He is absolutely unremorseful for what he's done, and you, you can tell this by those response videos. Next symptom we have hostility. Sociopaths are not only hostile themselves, but they're more likely to interpret others' behaviours as hostile, which drives them to seek revenge. Now, I can't say too much on this one. I'm not exactly sure on how hostile he is, and uh, yeah, so not too sure on that one. Next one we have irresponsibility. Yes, yes. Yes, 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 he's very irresponsible, he doesn't own up to his actions, he will come up with as many excuses as possible to deflect hate from himself. I think the situation would be different if he was just straight up, uh, if he was just apologetic, if he owned up to his mistakes and not lied and tried and manipulate people. I think that would have made things a lot better, but now what's said has been said, the video has been made and he clearly knows that he's screwed up. Next one we have impulsivity. We all have our impulsive moments, a last minute road trip, a drastic new hairstyle, or a new pair of shoes you just have to have. Yes, uh, again, with cheating on his uh, girlfriend, that is a very impulsive thing to do, and it's not the first time that he's done that. Next symptom we have risky behavior. Again, this is very similar to the irresponsibility, him cheating on girlfriends, that is, in my eyes, risky behaviour. 
Combine irresponsibility, impulsivity, and a need for instant gratification, and it's not surprising that sociopaths get involved in risky behavior. They tend to have little concern for the safety of others or themselves. This means that excessive alcohol consumption, drug abuse, compulsive gambling, unsafe sex, and dangerous hobbies are common. Now, I've seen one of his recent videos, which came after his first response to the breakup. In this video, all he does is sit there for about six minutes watching his sub count not go down. Because a lot of people said, Oh, you're gonna lose all your fans, you're gonna lose all your subscribers, which is all he cares about. So, it really made me sick, this video, because all he's doing is shoving it in Jacqueline's face, saying, I I'm actually not affected by this situation. If my channel's fine, then I'm fine. That's basically what he's saying with that video. And he sits there watching his sub count staying at the same level. <sighs> that is a horrible thing to do. What? Why is that your first priority at all? That's what really upsets me about this. And I feel so sorry for Jacqueline Glenn. Now... Those are the symptoms on this website. I thought that was really interesting. I will add another one, which is massive narcissism. He is very narcissistic. He is very obsessed with himself and has little regard for anyone else and will do everything he can to protect himself, to cover his ass, if you will. Now, this is pretty much all I have to say on social repose for the moment. I think it's important to mention the fact that I'm not a therapist I'm not diagnosing him I, I it's a very difficult situation working out whether he's a sociopath or whether he has just done a good job in making people think that he's a sociopath it's a tricky one but I think these symptoms are absolutely evident within him I think it's very obvious that these symptoms are a big part of who social repose is now that about does it for this video I very much appreciate you taking the time out of your day to come and check out my channel. If you're new here, please do subscribe. Let us get to 2,000 subs by Christmas. That would be wonderful. I hate doing this whole begging business, but it would be great. It would be a Christmas treat, just like that random snowstorm that has completely disappeared and is now very sunny outside. Very strange, England. What are you playing at once again? What's going on up there in those clouds? very strange so <laughs> thank you so much for joining me guys uh take care and i will see you in the next one